Hello friends, James Stevenson here with a fresh EV sales update. How did EV sales do around the world in 2023 by country? That is hard information to get a hold of, but I've tracked it down for you uh, with a lot of help from Jan of the Universe, who did a lot of research and made some uh, very informative tables and charts we're going to look at in just a minute. But today's episode is also an episode of Breakfast with Loki. Let me grab Loki his breakfast real fast. There you go, buddy. We'll see if he wants to eat or not. Looks like he does. Just move this camera for a second. Oh, that's the level of uh, professionalism you get from my channel. Uh, so uh, while Loki dives in to his breakfast, I'll briefly uh, add a forward to our video, which is the headlines have all been EV sales are collapsing, EV sales are falling, EV sales are uh, not doing so hot lately, right? And when you actually find the numbers in 2023 and compare them to, I don't know, 2022, uh, you'll discover that they're actually up quite a lot all around the world. Uh, not just in one or two countries, but in most of them. Uh, and it's overwhelming. So let me share my desktop with you and show you this tweet from Jan of the Universe at VEV Universe on X, who tweeted, I spent days upon days putting this resource together. I mapped out 10.3 million EV sales across 57 countries globally, from Colombia to the U.S. to Ireland. I now made all... 4,500 words of insights, nine graphs, and the full data spreadsheet available to all at this website, evuniverse.io slash p slash ev sales 2023. So there's your resource if you want to go check it out yourself. I will also take you on a tour of it right now uh, so that you can see lots of informative graphics like this one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. EV sales 2023 in China leading the world in EV sales with 6.2 million sold last year. That's up 24% over their prior year, which was also very strong, obviously. 24% uh, of vehicles sold in China last year were EVs. So China's doing great. And Loki's doing great. Loki finished all of his breakfast. Pardon my dryer buzzer. And Loki gets a reward for eating all of his food. Yes, good boy. Let me switch to the Loki's bed cam momentarily so that you can take in the majesty that is Loki getting rewarded with his snacks. And there you go, buddy. Good boy. Love you. Okay, so if he goes back to his bed, I'll move the camera so you don't miss any of the excitement of seeing Loki polish off his breakfast. What a good boy. Uh, but uh, I'll continue with the narration of this table in Europe, the EU plus EFTA plus UK. Two million EVs were sold in 2023. That's up 28%. 15.7% of sales last year in Europe were EVs. The U.S. is kind of lagging behind the rest of the world in number terms, with 1.2 million EV sales in 2023, almost. 62% growth year over year, though, which is a lot better than what we see uh, in China and Europe because they had made so much progress already in 2022 with EV adoption. 7.7% of vehicles sold in the U.S. last year were EVs. And then you've got the rest of the world here with tremendous percentage growth, uh, even though it's less than a million EVs sold, contributing to these worldwide totals that you see over here. One out of nine vehicles sold in the world last year were EVs, uh, with China accounting for most of that, uh, but with everybody growing, right? So uh, what I will do is show you this website now. I'm going to minimize my X window and show you what this landing page looks like. So there's a lot of information about the project here from Jan of the Universe, who is, I'm, I'm probably already mispronouncing his first name, but I'll give a try on his uh, last name too, Jan Yurikas. 
I uh, probably butchered that. Uh, but here's the information here uh, in text format. Probably what you want to see more is the visuals, though. Uh, so I will minimize this window as well and show you these. So here's a thumbnail view. Let me see if I can get you a better look at that. That's not better. Uh, I really wish there were an in-between size there. Okay, uh, so I think this is just a, uh, a mosaic view of a few visualizations that we can see individually. So I'll just skip that one and go straight to this one. This is a bar chart kind of like what you're used to seeing me make. These are global EV sales. Uh, 10.3 million were sold last year, 2023. How did it look the years before? Much, much lower, right? Uh, there were fewer than a million EVs sold every year before 2018. Uh, what happened in 2018? Tesla started making Model 3s, right? Uh, let me go back and show you the next one. I want to get through all of these best-selling EVs in 2023. It's the Tesla Model Y in China and in Europe and in the U.S. It was a clean sweep for Model Y. Uh, as the gold medalist in the three largest EV markets in the world. Model 3 did not make it a clean sweep for the silver medal, uh, even though it, it uh, got that in the U.S. and Europe. In China, it was these lower-priced uh, BYDs in second and third place, accounting for a lot of their EV sales last year. Then... Can I just hit this button? Yeah, I can. Uh, we've already seen this one, so I'm not going to talk that one again. EVs don't work in the cold, is what the media tells you. Sometimes some Tesla haters will say that, or some, some people fearful of EV adoption will say EVs don't work in the cold. Oh, oh yeah? Uh, somebody tell the five countries that are leading the world in EV adoption, those countries being Norway, Iceland, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland, do you think they're ever cold? <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I, uh, w without risk of offending uh, my viewers in these countries, it's cold there more than half the year. Uh, and <laughs> they're doing fine. 82% of vehicles sold in Norway last year were EVs. Now, the government has done a lot in terms of incentivizing EV ownership and disincentivizing the purchase of combustion engine vehicles there. Uh, but Iceland, uh, also a relatively wealthy nation, uh, a lot of EV adoption there from folks who can afford uh, to buy new EVs uh, on a regular basis. Here's one from uh, Sweden, year-over-year -year growth, 18%. Uh, that's pretty good. 38% uh, of vehicles sold in Sweden last year were EVs. Denmark and Finland right behind them and up more than 100% uh, year over year, Denmark and Finland, with strong growth from the rest of these countries outside the top five. Still over 20% of vehicles sold there are EVs. Let me move this camera over so you can see Loki better in the Loki cam. Scoot this in some. There you go. Uh... I'll go on to the next one here and talk about it. Here is uh, these 14 countries had 10 to 20 percent of their sales fully electric in 2023. So Austria, Belgium, New Zealand, Ireland, Germany, Portugal, Singapore, Israel, Malta, France, United Kingdom, Thailand, Costa Rica, and Romania all 10 to 20 percent EVs. Uh, that's pretty great. And it's a clean sweep for all of these being up year over year. Every single one of these countries <laughs> sold more EVs in 2023 than they did in 2022. So that's good stuff. Next, countries that had over 20% sales, fully electric in 2023. So you see uh, these same countries uh, mostly... <laughs> What's very humorous is that there's no footnote uh, over here where California is listed as one of the 10 countries that had over 20% sales fully electric. 
21.26% of vehicles sold in California last year were EVs, and the dominant majority of those were Teslas. Uh, and are there any more visuals here? Yes, 16 countries more than doubled their BEV sales in 2023. So this is the year-over-year -year growth column being featured. Turkey, uh, a, a country with very low... Um, average incomes, 734% growth year over year. So folks who can afford to buy EVs are doing so in Turkey. Uh, Thailand, Costa Rica, Panama, Mexico, Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Greece, Bulgaria, all of these over 100% uh, year over year growth, meaning a doubling or better of their EV sales from 2022 to 2023. And these 12 countries or regions sold over 100,000 EVs in 2023. So uh, the summation uh, character, the sigma, is being used here for Europe and for the USA, uh, with uh, California being a memo item already included in the USA figure. So uh, 1.2 million uh, EVs sold in the US almost with almost a third of those coming from California. About 30% of the U.S. sales are coming from the USA, and that's about 30% growth year over year. In the rest of the U.S., a much stronger growth rate. If you were to exclude California from this number, you'd see it up a lot more than 62% because California was only up 30%. So you might get this number up to like 80% or something. I didn't, I didn't do the math on it, but it's something like that. So big, big growth in the U.S., despite the media headlines, the rumors, the fear-mongering, the FUD, uh, the trolling from people who hate Tesla saying uh, EV growth is dead. Well, if you look at the numbers, it ain't. Uh, and that's my video for today. So with that, we will check back in with Loki, who is curled up in bed, digesting his breakfast that you just saw him uh, consume ravenously. And with that, uh, as I am want to do, I will close out my video by thanking you for watching the video, reminding you to like the video if you liked the video. Uh, if you didn't, don't like it. Uh, but if you do like it, you'll help the algorithm recommend this video to other people like you who might enjoy it as much as you did. And a special shout out to my two executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com, along with thanking everyone who supports me. And I'll see you in the next one.